What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Mike. And I know it's been a while since I uploaded my last video. But um you know, I don't I didn't really have an idea for today. Um all I wanted to really do is just talk over the Black Rain Ordinance AR15. You know, we've added a little extra stuff to it. Um as you can tell, I don't know if I showed this in the last video, but the flashlight's no longer on there. I actually put that on the Citadel. Um so let's go ahead and move the mag, you know nothing in there but um yeah the first thing I want to really point out is um, I know we did a review on the firefield scope um, it's holding up really well um, I got it uh, sighted in around 50 yards you know that's all I really needed to be sighted in at not really looking forward to do long range with this I could if I wanted to um, I did get a few shots at a, out at a hundred not too much of a difference there um, but I want to say my probably my favorite, most favorite thing, accessory that I have installed on this rifle would be the Magpul offsites, offset sights, and the Magpul foregrip, angle grip, I meant. This right here just really completed it. I mean, it feels really nice. I mean, it wasn't bad, you know, grabbing it from here, but it's a lot more comfortable, you know, having it. And plus, it has like a little stop right there. Um, I did get that from Amazon, um, but it is Magpul, Magpul, so, I mean, it's really nice, um, but yeah, like I said, these angle sights, I mean, offset sights, are iron sights, um, I used them a couple times at the range, you can see it from there, yeah, you can see it there, really nice, you know, you got it like this, and then you go sideways, so, is more than necessary kind of well kind of necessary being that I needed a backup site and I didn't want to have well normally have room to put it right here um, at the front I had room but didn't have any right here from the optic we got up there um, it is now you know probably the same way to the AK but this is pretty much fully loaded this might be all that's going to be going on this rifle I didn't really plan on doing anything really extra. I mean, I did when I first got it. But um, the flashlight, I don't think I'm going to be going with a flashlight on this one. The laser, however, I mean, like I said, well, yeah, there, there's the laser right there. Um, I was thinking about going with a, a different type of laser. This one's not that bad. But, um, I mean, it is from Amazon. The only bad thing about it is... The screw seemed to loosen up over time, and I do use uh, Loctite on it. Um, I use blue Loctite. I don't want to go with red because, well, with an AR, you're always usually going to be switching up things. But uh, yeah, the la the laser just keeps on, and over time, I feel like when you're shooting, you have it set, and all of a sudden, it's not, like not. I notice now that it's not necessarily keeping keeping zero you know it's not uh it's not staying sighted in or nothing like that um not by big difference but i'm but i mean it, it is around an inch or two you know that is going off and in one once it one one second is good and another second it's not so i mean either way i don't really use the laser like that i really just got it kind of for looks um because in daylight you you can't you can't really see it you know but um it is a nice little touch to have a laser on this. Um, now, the reason why I would not be putting a flashlight on it, um, most people would think I'd be using this as a self defense, home defense or something. But um, this is not my real actual go-to for home defense. It's there if I need it, but it's not my number two, number one for uh, home defense. I'll probably make another video on my actual home defense, maybe. Not really sure, because. Well, um, I am in the process, well, maybe I shouldn't really say that yet. Yeah, because I don't know how long it's going to take on that one. But, the flashlight, like I said, is on the Citadel. That is one of the home defense weapons. Um, but, still, like I said, not number one. Um, but yeah, uh, let me know what you guys think about the Magpul offsets and the laser 
optic. What else we got on here? I think that's about it. Oh yeah, we do got the red dot. I'm pretty sure. If you guys seen the other video, of the review, the red dot. I don't really use it that much. I mean, I've used it a few times, but it's all right. It's it's not my favorite. I say that much. But the optic itself is good. Um, I guess we can just do a little price breakdown. I guess we could say. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do a price breakdown. I don't remember. I think I did tell say the actual price of the optic itself. But if you didn't see the last video, I mean, you can go watch it, or I'll just tell you how much this one right here cost. This one ran me around, uh, if I'm not mistaken, between 120 and 140. Not exactly sure which one it was, but it was either 120 or 140. So there's that. The Mac Pro offsets, uh, I was actually a little surprised on how much they were going for, you know, because, well, they're just Mac Pro iron sights, you know, off sights. But um, but those were on Amazon at 170, just for the iron sights. Um, I really like this. This this it was a really nice touch on this right here. But um, oh, and then the rails that we got right here, they're not nothing real fancy. Um, I did go with little cheaper rails. Uh, they cost me maybe 20 bucks on Amazon. I mean, they work really well. They stay in place. Um, and what I mean by the laser that, that was coming loose was act, the actual screws that's holding this in place. The rail itself has been secured, you know, it doesn't doesn't go anywhere. Um, but yeah, so 120 to 140, 160, 170, somewhere around there. Um, the angle, angle grip, Magpul angle grip, uh, like I said, I got that one from Amazon. Um, it was around... Let's see, can't really remember exactly. I want to say I paid between 20 to 40 bucks. I think it was around 40. No, actually, I did not get this from Amazon. Um, I think, I, I believe I actually ordered it from Macpool. Um, the Amazon had some, but they didn't have the ones, the, they didn't have it in the earth color. And that's what I, that's, you know, I said it multiple times. That's the color I really like on guns. Um... But yeah, this one's around, I think it ran me about 40 bucks, 40, 50 bucks in total for that. And I gotta say, it was worth it. Really great, feels great. Um, actually, I have used it at the range already, yes. I have used it. Works really well. Um, I believe I used it when, I believe I used it when I took it out to, uh, when I took the Kimber 1911 out, I believe that's when I used this. But, yep, yeah, there's that. And the laser, it was 25 bucks, I believe it was. That's probably why it's not that great. It was great when I first started using it. I don't know if it's the battery issue. I mean, let alone the screws, you know, backing out with blue light tight. Um... But the laser itself, I don't know if it's battery related or what, but it just doesn't keep. It don't, it don't stay zeroed in. But yeah, that's about 20 bucks. Um, I believe. Yeah, I believe that's that's about it. Oh, I did have the sling. Um, I have. I'm actually thinking about getting a different uh, sling for this rifle. Uh, let me go. Let me know in the comments what uh, what kind of slings you actually suggest for a rifle. You know, like in this kind of. This kind of, uh, what would I call this? I guess in this kind of setup. But I do want a sling on it because, I mean, if I'm not at the gun range, I'm going to be carrying it with a sling. So, yeah, let me let me know what you guys think. Um, any other brands of lasers, that's really what I need help on because I'm not really familiar with uh, laser brands and stuff like that. Which ones are best. Not really trying to go highly expensive because well like I said lasers you hardly see them in daylight and that's usually the only time I'm going to uh, be shooting it um, I will let you guys know that I am this is what I was gonna say and then I'm I was saying I've been thinking about it but I'm gonna go ahead and say it I am currently building um, another AR well building my first AR I should say 
Um, I'm actually, the reason I said I don't know when it's going to be done because I'm actually taking my time with this one being it's my first AR build. Um, I will say it is going to be a 16 inch. Um, yeah, it's going to be a 16 inch uh, AR chambered in 223556. Uh, the reason I'm going with the same caliber as well, why not? I was going to go 300 blackout, but I actually have other plans. I kind of want to do a 300 black. If this AR build goes great, like it. I hope it does. Um, I've been, you know, gathering my knowledge and everything. Um, you know, I could basically break this down, put it back together, no problem. So I don't think I have or have any kind of issue with, you know, building it. But um, but yeah, that's gonna be coming up. I wouldn't say soon, but maybe in a month or so, two months. Like I said, I'm taking my time on it. Um, if you guys have any suggestions on building the AR, please let me know. Um, any tips would be helpful. But I think to, uh, this is going to be in, the end for today's video. This might be the only video that I don't really have cuts in it. I know I stutter a lot. Still not used to cameras. It is what it is. But um, let, me, let, me, let me know what you guys think about the Black Rain Ordnance AR-15. With all the accessories and everything. And anything, uh, any kind of tips you guys have or accessories or laser brands and stuff like that. I do not want to go with a combo because, well, that's going to be on the the new AR-15 that's going to be on the channel in a month or two. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys. Uh, thank you to all the new subscribers to the channel. And please leave a like and comment down below. Until next time.